Yeah, Kevin, I hear you. Thanks, Kevin. We're now in China, and we're going to interview Spears, the senior manager of Fun Chai, to talk about his past experience in doing business in China and the cross-cultural differences. Hi, Spears. Hi, Salah. Thank you. So, guys, if you're going to go and do business in China, better listen to my story first. So, gentlemen, the first story was happening in the meeting room. Spears from UK organizing a marketing event happening in China. He want his team to provide the idea as creative as possible. Our idea is to gather creative students from all over China and make them participate in our networking global event. So what do you think about it? Uh, you would be interested in something like this? No, we can't do that because government regulation prohibits people from doing so. Why don't we do something more regular, like tea party or reading group? The first challenge is lack of creativity and government regulation. Okay. Another day, Spiros was presenting a new project and asked for the opinion. It was the summary of our project. Uh, do you have any questions to make or any comments to add, please? Okay, guys, I cannot continue like this. Why did you don't provide me with some feedback? Spiro was angry because no one answered him at the meeting, even the project manager. I'm really upset, you know. I don't expect such an attitude from a project manager. For Chinese, directly confronting is taken personally most of the time. So, One day after the work, Spiros was invited by his colleague to the hop up party. Food culture is very important to Chinese. On the table, Spiros see many different food that he have never seen in his life, including beef stomach, kolom, duck blood, dumplings, fish plants, black rooms, and blood, clam, dinky tofu. How to eat it? Spiros was freaked out. And so can we eat now? Yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. In hop up, it's normal to use your own cutlery to take the food. Oh, almost forgot the chopstick. <laughs> it's normal the foreigner can't use the chopstick properly. You can always ask the fork and spoon. When the Chinese say ganbei, means you have to down your drink. Otherwise, it is implied to others, and they will think you don't respect them. Remember when I said I was going to introduce Mr. Taka from Japan to you? This is Mr. Taka and this is Mr. Spiros. I'm very pleased to meet you, Mr. Taka. Nice to meet you. Oh, God bless you. Dozo. Giving present to clients or business partner is a custom at the first meeting. Thank you! Thank you. Where is your gift? I didn't know I had to bring a gift. So that was the story Spiros happened in China. Thank you Spiros for sharing your story. Thank you Salah, my pleasure. And now we're going back to London. Kelly will gonna give us the tips and solutions before doing business in China. Kelly, Kelly, do you hear me? Kelly, 